We've all been there four to five hour long streams, no one in chat, and <laughs> it sucks. But what if that wasn't the case? Yes, it does suck that no one showed up to your stream. And there are multiple factors as to why people didn't show. Maybe you were in a crowded category. Maybe your friends that normally join and hang out were busy. Or you made the beginner's mistake of forgetting to actually post that you were live. None of that matters now and the important part is that you've done the stream and hopefully you had a fun time doing it. The best thing you can do now is to not let it bother you and trust me, I know how hard that can be. The second best thing you can do is to continue to create compelling content to bring more people to your stream for the future. And that's the part we're going to focus on right now. The first thing you want to do is download your most recent stream. If you don't quite know how to do it, you can check out an older video of mine linked up in this corner here. And after you've got your stream downloaded, you'll also need some video editing software. I recommend uh, DaVinci Resolve as a good free option or you can uh, <coughs> acquire other editing software of your choice. Your goal with this is to split the whole stream into segments and this is going to vary from person to person but what you're looking for is around 10 to 15 minute segments throughout the whole stream. This could be you reacting to a video or playing a game but again it's going to be different for everyone and I'll add that it also doesn't need to be exactly 10 to 15 minutes. If you're playing a longer game like uh, Escape to Tarkov or League of Legends then you can use the whole game as your segment. Now that you've got your video sectioned off Go through each section, watch it back, and if nothing interesting happens or it's boring for even you to watch, just get rid of it. You don't want to advertise your content as being boring because that's not going to attract many people in. Hopefully, you're still left with a few sections and that's the gold that we're going to utilise. These longer sections are perfect for building up content on a YouTube channel if you haven't already. So create a thumbnail, render that section and post it. If you want to spice it up, you can cut out some of the slower moments, keep it entertaining for the viewer and start to post frequently on YouTube. You're already creating the content on stream so why not expand to other platforms? If you've watched this far into the video, please leave a comment down below saying I made it and if you're there, why not even leave a like or subscribe? I'd greatly appreciate it. The next thing I'd like to talk about is potentially more important than the last one. If you have a particularly funny moment happen on stream, you're going to take this moment, you're going to post it to TikTok, YouTube Shorts and Twitter. Before you do that, however, I need you to listen real close to what I'm about to say. There are three rules, which are the three pillars of short form content. Rule number one is that it cannot be longer than 60 seconds in duration. This allows you to post on all three platforms without a single worry. Rule two, the content must absolutely be posted in a vertical resolution, either a 1080 by 1920 or a 720 by 1280. Now, when you're editing this content, think about people scrolling through their phones on TikTok. It's all vertical content. And the final rule is that if you have a face cam on stream, you must put your face cam into the short form content, either by editing the clip yourself and your chosen editing software, or using a site such as Streamladder. Stick with the process, follow the rules and there's no reason that this cannot work out for you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, this video right here is automatically chosen for you by YouTube, so why not check it out as well? I'll see you guys in the next one.